Hi, I'm Rachel McVeary, investing editor at US News and World Report. How many of you have gotten to a place in life where you've saved up enough to be financially comfortable and are wondering whether there's a way to put your money where your mouth is when it comes to supporting the causes or organizations you believe in? Or maybe you still need to earn a return or yield while putting your money to work to create a positive outcome. There's a type of investing that's generally known as impact investing. Impact investing aims to do good by doing well, targeting companies that create change in communities. Sometimes people confuse it with environmental, social, and governance focused investing, also known as ESG, which can be related but does have some important differences. A key difference is that ESG acts as a framework for assessing a company's risks from non-financial material factors, like an insurer with a lot of coastal customers at risk from a rising sea level, for example. Impact investing is more focused on positive outcomes. The ideal for impact investors is this, invest in firms making specific impacts in communities while getting a meaningful return on that investment, whether that's in the form of profits or more opportunities to roll money into other impact investing projects. Interestingly, despite an overall pullback in ESG investing, now could be an ideal time to look at impact investments. In times of economic volatility and political polarization, investors who can see past biases in uncertain times are more likely to prosper in the long term. An example of impact investing would be increasing the number of people with access to banking in historically underserved areas. This is big business too. The size of the global impact investing market is estimated to hit 7.8 trillion in 2033 nearly triple its current levels. So for those looking for a solid place to start impact investing, let's look at three top impact investing firms and three top impact investing funds. Under impact investing firms, first off we have Eaton Vance Corp, uh, ticker EV, which bought Calvert Investment Management in 2016, a firm that was first to launch a socially responsible mutual fund that avoided investing in companies involved with apartheid in South Africa. Calvert's responsible mutual funds today offer actively and passively managed strategies. Calvert Impact Capital offers notes targeting community investment, carbon reduction, and a more inclusive banking system. It also offers several small business recovery funds. Second up is Impact's Asset Management Group PLC, uh, over-the-counter traded as IPXAF, acquired PAX World Management to expand impact investing offerings. For example, Impacts has worked with the World Bank to structure an impact bond to finance 300,000 water purifiers for schools and other institutions in Vietnam. The project aims to improve access to clean water for kids and the use of wood fires for boiling water and give women back that time spent doing that to direct their energy elsewhere. Third is Trillium Asset Management, which targets sustainable agriculture, low-income housing, job creation and retention, Native American community development, financial services that help people avoid predatory payday lenders, environmental sustainability, and more. <laughs> They're very busy. Trillium's impact investing vehicles are primarily certificates of deposit, or CDs, that pay interest and promissory notes. On to the three top impact investing funds. First Trust NASDAQ Clean Edge Green Energy Index Fund, which is QCLN, is an exchange traded fund, otherwise known as an ETF, that has a history of climate action, resource security, and basic needs theming. It tracks a related index of securities. The fund's expense ratio is $59 per year for every 10,000 invested, and it also pays a modest yield over 1%. Second is Invesco Water Resources ETF, PHO or FO, I like this one. This ETF tracks an index of companies involved in the conservation and purification of water for homes, businesses, and industries. FO has outperformed in its category and has an expense ratio of 0.6% and a 15-year annualized return of 11.2%, not bad. Uh, yield is around half a percentage point. Then third is YWCA, Women's Empowerment ETF, or WOMN. This fund hits on a theme that's big in the impact investing community right now, women's empowerment and gender equity. Impact Shares donates all the net advisory profits from the ETF to the YWCA. 
It has an expense ratio of 0.75% and is up more than 74% over the past five years, beating its category average. Its 12-month yield is 0.9% or almost 1%. Thanks for joining me for this discussion about impact investing and how you can do good by doing well, putting your investment dollars to work, not only for your future, but also for the social causes you care about.